Hello, my name is Soko Paul Karsten. Welcome to the In Joy Experience. These are a series of 12 guided exercises that provide you with the skills for deeper awareness and a practice regularly deeper capacity for inner joy. Each of these podcasts will provide one guided exercise to deepen your experience of this joy and the skills needed to access it on a regular basis. I am sharing them with you because I continue to practice them all daily and find them most important in assisting me to deepen my understanding and relationships in life and naturally manifesting inner joy. Today's podcast will focus on simultaneity, a little-known exercise to develop your consistent experiencing of the two simultaneously occurring opposing forces fundamental to existence. But first, I want to comment briefly on the first two podcasts. One aspect I took considerable time with was to emphasize the activity of grounding, settling your mind and integrating your breath, body, and spirit into the connection with the earth is a fundamental practice that I believe we can incorporate into our awareness throughout the day. As you may have experienced during the exercise, it provides you with more awareness and clarity in the present and a release from too many concerns about past and future while providing a calmness to your being. Thus, when you are walking, when you are eating, when you are standing in line, when you are sitting in class or preparing for work, or many other times in your daily activities, when you have the space to visit this connection with the earth, please consider it. In the beginning, it is helpful to have two or three times a day a focused practice for 10 to 15 minutes of this exercise. But ultimately, this is only to provide you with more ease so you can incorporate this into how you daily interact with your environment and life. By having a frequent awareness of this deeper self in your life, this earth self, you bring a new way of being to your relationships, play, and work. In the instructional exercises I provided in the first two podcasts, I was frequently verbally reminding you of different aspects of the practice to keep a focus. I found this is often helpful for beginners, but if you are already familiar with this material and still want to have a guided instructional aspect to your practice, then I believe a format that has less talk and more space is more helpful. For that reason, I have uploaded a podcast entitled Exercise Addendum to Pods 1 and 2. This provides minimally guided exercises in grounding, body awareness, and embodied breathing. So, let's get to the guided exercise for today. Today's podcast will focus on t simultaneity. That is, how to energetically experience simultaneously the two opposing forces that are the basic activity of nature. Many cultures have observed, experienced, and recognized two oppositional or contradictory forces that together generate a whole. Often these two forces are described in a linear fashion. That is, through time, things appear and then disappear grow and then die, rise and then fall, expand and then contract. This approach helps in the study of cycles and evolution. What is less practiced and discussed 
in meditation and also consciously experienced is that these two oppositional forces occur simultaneously. They are occurring in an equal relationship in which the harmonious activity of the whole is based on them interacting with each other concurrently. In my experience, this experiential practice, moment to moment, is what opens up the door to deeper recognition of the heart of relationships. This is the practice that we will do in the exercise today. Please find a quiet and safe place that also allows you to do a walking exercise. Wear comfortable clothing for movement and we will begin. We will begin our exercise with our basic grounding. Please go to the soles of your feet where they connect with the earth or the floor and feel the sensations that you experience. Accept these as complete in this moment and breathe into them, inhaling and exhaling into the whatever sensations you are experiencing moment to moment in this connection with the earth. Check in on your posture. Notice the crown of your head drawing up and being open to the heavens while simultaneously with your feet having an experience of connection and anchoring with the earth. If you are sitting, you may also place an awareness at the base of your spine, holding there with the experience of holding the hand of a good friend, anchoring in that location as well. Become aware of your breathing throughout your whole body. Imagine breathing up from your feet. Imagine breathing with every cell, inhaling and exhaling with you as you breathe. Your skin your bones, your ears, your toes, all of you inhales and exhales together. Your mind, your awareness, your breath, all breathing together. Bring the earth into this experience as well. The sensations that you feel where your feet connect with the earth. Inhale and exhale with those sensations as well as above your head with the space you experience there. If you choose to have your eyes open you may also include your environment, inhaling 
and exhaling with you. Maintaining your awareness in your feet. Also at this time, we will begin the basic Qigong we learned before. Arms by your sides, palms facing inward. And with your next inhale, let your arms rise to the sides like the wings of a bird, stretching out and up as you inhale in completely until you reach full extension with your fingers raised to the heavens. Pausing and then returning with the exhale, wings of a bird until you reach final exhale and the palms reach your sides. Pause for a few moments. Continue this breathing gong, this bird gong, for a few more breaths. Note that your breath, inhale and exhale is equalized and that the pacing of your breathing is slow and comfortable. As you're breathing, in each moment, you are aware of the sensations, whatever you are experiencing being just fine as you, your arms, your body, your being inhales and exhales. Notice, accept, and flow with the sensations you experience in the earth, in your body, in your full awareness of being. I'm now going to ask you to begin distinguishing the sensations that you are experiencing as you do this bird gong. Isolating the sensations that feel like they are rising and distinguishing the sensations that feel like they are descending. So as you raise your hands, arms up with the inhale, notice the visible rising energy, but also simultaneously see if you can experience the internal descending energy. As you exhale and your arms visibly descend with that energy, Notice the sensations that are within you that appear to be ascending and rising. So continue breathing and like listening to music, see if you can distinguish the different aspects to the sensations you're experiencing. Those that feel more descending and concurrently those that feel more rising or uplifting.
it's very likely that one aspect of this is more obvious to you than the other. Please pay attention to the sensations that are less obvious to you. And by simply putting your awareness on them, this will cultivate them and your capacity for feeling them more clearly. So the first step in recognizing the concurrent opposing activities is to experience them directly in your body as you inhale and exhale, noticing the part that is descending, at the same time noticing and experiencing the part that is ascending. This may take some time for you to experience directly. Be patient with yourself. You can practice this longer by yourself. We are now in this exercise going to move to the second stage of this practice. If you remember, we also did a Qigong that was more of a gathering Qigong, where your arms by your side, you with the inhale, you then reached your arms out wide as if you were going to embrace a big friend as you inhale, reaching out in front of you, forming a circle with your arms, and then as you exhale, gathering in and embracing this deep friend as you bring your palms to your lower belly, firmly pressing as you exhale completely. And as the next inhale begins, again, opening your arms up, imagining a good friend coming into your embrace wrapping your arms around them, and as the exhale begins, gathering them in to you in a deep hug, bringing your palms together, connecting with your lower belly. Practice this more a few times on your own, at your own speed, inhaling fully, in that moment where you pause with a complete inhale, the complete openness, and then as you exhale, embracing, gathering in to your core until full exhale. Keep awareness during these exercises as well in the connection with the earth. Breathing with the sensations you feel there, even as you are breathing with the experience of embracing this good friend in this form of gathering Qigong. So now, as you experience the sensations and accept them moment to moment, in each part of this breathing, embracing Qigong, begin also to become aware of the differences of the sensations. Distinguish the sensations that 
you feel are more expansive, expanding, growing, moving outward, and at the same time, become aware of the sensations that feel like they are contracting, drawing in, condensing. So with all aspects of your breath cycle, notice the concurrent experience of some sensations that feel like they are opening up, moving outward, while at the same time, notice whatever sensations you have where something is drawing in, gathering and collecting into your being. So as you continue doing this gathering or source Qigong, maintaining your connection with the ground, and paying attention to where you feel things radiating out, stretching outward, while at the same time being aware of the sensations that feel like they are drawing in. Contracting. Again, you may very well have some aspect of this which is easier for you to feel, and another aspect which seems less obvious. Certainly, visibly, when we are moving our arms outward, there is more of an expanding energetic, whereas when we exhale, at least visibly, there is more of a contracting aspect. But there is also an equal balancing energetic that is going the other direction. That when you reach your arms out with a big inhale, there is also a gathering in, a concentrating energy occurring. And when you draw in and gather with the exhale firmly into your core, there is just as important a movement radiating out and expanding. This may not be obvious in the beginning, but again, if you place your awareness particularly in the aspect that seems not as obvious to you, that will cultivate your capacity for having more attention for this energetic aspect of what we call the chi activity. So continue here in this exercise for a few more breaths, practicing this gathering gong and getting more comfortable viewing the ground sensation with the experience of listening for the part of the energy which is expanding and at the same time the part that is drawing in and contracting. So 
Let's take a moment um, to pause here. This exercise is also helpful to be done in a walking meditation format where you would do a slow-mo form of walking meditation with each step being the same timing as one breath so that as you inhale you your one foot rises and as you exhale the foot falls to the ground connects with the ground with the exhale and as the next foot then lifts off the ground another inhale and then as it connects to the earth and exhale so maintaining your awareness of the connection with the earth but now walking in a circle or a comfortable area where you can move over and over becoming aware of your breathing whole body breathing as you also bring your legs into this slow motion movement breathing together inhaling and exhaling you may want to take some time to simply become comfortable since this requires some balance with this form of walking qigong then you can also move to including the movement qigong's bird gong and gathering gong concurrently with this walking qigong so that as you raise your foot you also raise your arms wings of a bird in the inhale and as your foot descends to the earth your arms descend and connect with your body or doing the gathering the same as you take a step and inhale you reach your arms out imagining you're walking to embrace a good friend and then as your foot returns to the earth your palms return to your lower belly and then as you become comfortable with this qigong movement bring in your breathing and bring in the distinguishing of concurrent rising and descending and concurrent expanding and contracting you will notice that the walking assists this concurrent activity because with each step you are concurrently one foot is descending and pressing down into the earth where the other foot is rising and lifting up and so this concurrent rising and falling activity of walking assists your body in delineating the experiences that you're feeling of those that are lifting and concurrently with those that are falling those that feel expansive opening to the heavens and the environment and those feel like they're drawing in to your core or into the earth obviously this is an exercise that will take more time for you to practice than we have in this podcast so please uh, do that every day practicing for a period of time 
first grounding and feeling the connection with the earth so you can maintain that relationship throughout the Qigong practice and becoming aware of these different sensations that are happening simultaneously. These opposing forces in your breath, in your body, that are moving in different directions. Be patient with yourself. This can take some time to become clear about this, but I assure you with daily practice and with a real 100% focus to be present in each moment with the earth, with your breath, with the movements, it will become clearer and clearer as you are open to the question of where do I feel the expansive sensations? Where do I feel the descending or contracting sensations in this experience at the same time? Another simple place you can experience this descending, ascending, and even do qigong in this arena is when you are taking a shower. Clearly with a shower, you have the water accentuating the descending, clearing, cleansing down to the earth energy. I think you can also in that shower setting experience the standing up and the energy that is moving upward while the shower energy is moving downward and then if you add the rounding breathing qigong exercise to this it will also help clarify for you the way this feels in your body Please continue this practice, and in the next podcast, we will explore how this experience of simultaneously sensing the contractive, expansive activity of our being, how that assists us in recognizing and locating the core of that activity, the oscillator within the center of that activity. So until then, my best to you and goodbye.